Sup guys, Antonio Zilla here. Now I know that this is not the Godzilla review that the previous video implied of, but I just felt like I had to make a video about Comic-Con 2019 since I did it for Toy Fair 2019. And besides, there are some pretty cool things that have been revealed at Comic-Con that I really, really wanted to go over. So without further ado, let's do that. First, let's take a look at the Jurassic World Amber Collection. So this will feature super articulated dinosaurs and human figures. As of now, only four have been revealed. The Velociraptor Blue, Ian Malcolm, Owen Grady, and the big one Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. That is what I'm really looking forward to. I mean, it's got the accurate brown color scheme. Ian Malcolm has the flair just like the movie and it looks really, really nice and I cannot wait to get some of those. So next up is Mattel's new Primal Attack series. I really like the upgraded look of the logo. It looks really nice. And guess what? They finally are doing another action attack Carnotaurus. Well, actually it's not an action attack. It's called the Primal Attack Carnotaurus. And they revealed a whopping 17 new species are coming. Now this seems kind of fishy. It's because if you look really closely at the outlines of all those dinosaurs, some of them are the old ones, like the Extreme Chomping T-Rex and the Stegosaurus, and pretty sure I see a raptor in there, but there are still some new ones coming, like a Crylophosaurus, an Edmontosaurus, and Allioramus. The Crylophosaurus and the Allioramus look nice, but I'm really looking forward to the Edmontosaurus. That looks cool. Mattel just revealed the Ultimate Baryonyx Breakout. This is in the Battle Damage series, and it looks really, really nice. I like the Baryonyx repaints, but at the same time, it has that Lord Forsaken Owen Grady figure again. Like, why did they keep on repackaging him? It doesn't make any dang sense. But I do like some of the accessories, like the compies and the computer, that little computer thing. And um, the gun, that all looks nice. And it looks like a pretty nice um, playset. I hope that one actually gets in stores, unlike the other ones. Moving on to all things Godzilla. NECA just revealed their Godzilla 1964. This one is based on Godzilla vs. Mothra, and I love how NECA's been improving over the past few years. This one really shows. Everything, from the paints, the dorsal fins, just the sculpt in general, it looks really accurate. If anything, my only complaint is the head looks a little sketchy. I mean, it doesn't compare at all with the um, SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1964, but that's only the head. The rest of it looks fantastic. This really surprised me, but NECA is actually re-releasing and enhancing some of their older figures. This makes me so excited. I'm so glad they're doing this. Right now, there's no word on the 1994 Godzilla and the 1995 Burning Godzilla, but there is some confirmed changes happening to the Godzilla 1990, oh, excuse me, 1984. It's gonna have new dorsal fins, bigger arms and hands, a new neck and a longer tail. The dorsal fins really stand out to me. That's my favorite update of this figure because they were just too small on the previous release. As of now, we don't have any pictures of the re-released Godzilla 1954, but we do know it's gonna have an updated paint job and a new atomic breath effect part. One thing's for sure, I'm keeping all these boxes and displaying them because that art looks really, really good. I love how they incorporated the movie posters onto the figure. All right, we're saving the best for last. NECA just revealed their Fire Godzilla 2019. This, this, this looks astronomically phenomenal. I mean, I cannot believe that they're doing this. This looks amazing. I cannot stand waiting to get this because I need it right now. I mean, it looks amazing. I love how it's semi-transparent, so it actually looks like he's melting and that makes it look even more realistic. There's another picture. And it, I mean, everything about it looks amazing. I cannot wait to get this, along with the Atomic Breath version. That one looks great too. As a matter of fact, I'm actually pretty sure that the Fire Godzilla is just the same exact paint job, except it's made orange and it's semi-translucent, but whatever, it still looks awesome. The Atomic Breath version, I'm actually pretty sure it's debuting next month. That wraps up all the reveals from Comic-Con 2019 I'm looking the most forward to. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below if you want to about which figure you are looking the most forward to. This is Antonio Zilla signing out.